Many fascinating mathematical objects lie hidden in the fourth dimension, waiting for us to learn how to see them. In this presentation, we show how computer graphics tools can help us visualize the fourth dimension using geometry and light. To understand how we can make pictures of the fourth dimension, let us first look at how we make pictures in a simple two-dimensional world. An image in 2D is just a line. Light rays bounce off the curve outlining each 2D object and are focused onto a line to form the image. Rays striking the curve at different angles produce different image intensities. In our everyday world, objects are three-dimensional and images are squares. We make pictures by projecting points in the 3D world to points in a 2D square representing the image. Since pictures of 2D worlds are lines and pictures of 3D worlds are squares, we can guess that a picture of a 4D world must be a cube, a volume filled with points of light. Just as rays of light in 3D can pass unobstructed to any point within the image square, light rays in 4D form pictures when they are focused onto interior points of the cubic image volume. In 3D, it is hard to visualize a cloud of star-like points until we expand them into shiny spheres and move them around. Similarly, the 3D shape of a thin wire is hard to see until we expand it into a shiny tube. Surfaces in 3D require no such modification to show their nature. In fact, all we have done for points and curves is to transform them into surfaces to make their features visible. In 4D, we have a similar family of problems. Clouds of star-like points must be blown up into three spheres, and the image of a thin wire is featureless until we expand it by attaching a spherical surface to each point. Surfaces such as this torus embedded in 4D do not reflect light rays uniquely into the cubic image until we thicken them by replacing every point on the surface by a shiny circle much as we expanded every point on a 3D wire. Sweeping the surface with a circle and rendering it into the image volume using 4D light gives us a new class of images. Intrinsically, four-dimensional objects such as the three-sphere and the tesseract or hypercube can be rendered without modification. Here, we use a four-dimensional superquadric to interpolate between a three-sphere and a hypercube. One of the most interesting applications of our 4D imaging techniques is to show new features of mathematical surfaces embedded in four dimensions. This 4D image of the torus, for example, clearly shows its tandem circular cross-sections. Much less is revealed by the 3D projection. Next, we show a knotted sphere, a simple example of a knotted surface in 4D Euclidean space that has properties analogous to knotted curves in 3D. We cannot see the knotting of this surface in the ordinary 3D projection, but using the surface thickening method in 4D produces volume images that clearly show complex features interpretable as knots. Finally, we examine the one-sided projective plane embedded in four dimensions. The 3D projection alternates between a cross cap and Steiner's Roman surface as we rotate the view in 4D. The surface itself is completely rigid in 4D, and the changing aspect of its volume image is due only to the projection. This is the end of our journey into the fourth dimension, and we hope we've shown you some interesting ideas about how to see things in four-dimensional space. But please, be careful. If you get too involved, you might slip into the fourth dimension yourself and never be seen again. <laughs>